War in Ukraine, people sheltering in Mariupol may have a chance to escape the port city again today. Evacuation started over the weekend at the steel plant that is both the last stronghold and for some the last refuge in the city. President Volodymyr Zelensky says it's the first time since the war started that a humanitarian corridor is working. Video released yesterday shows people climbing over debris and rubble. The pause was brief. Ukrainian forces say once uh, about 100 people got out, Russia started shelling the plant again. Officials say about 100,000 people are likely still in the city. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi led a congressional delegation to visit Kyiv. There they met with President Zelensky. Pelosi told reporters why the lawmakers went. Clear message to the world. America stands with Ukraine. We stand with Ukraine until victory is won. Six other House Democrats went with Pelosi, including Adam Schiff, the chair of the House Intelligence Committee. He says they talked with Zelensky about what his country needs most. We wanted to discuss with him within that uh, that really vast sum, uh, what is the priority in terms of what weapons that he needs, what other assistance that he needs. President Biden has sent Congress a $33 billion relief package. The House is in recess and won't consider it for at least a week. Leaders from both chambers have said they want the money approved by Memorial Day.